Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're gonna check out the newest information that was just dropped by the developers. The developers specifically go into what they are going to improve in this next update that will be coming up soon. We are also gonna be taking a look at some new game breaking bugs that just popped up. Hopefully this video will bring some awareness to that bug and this way we can get those things patched. With all that being said, let's go ahead and dive right into this. Alrighty, let's begin by talking about the newest updated information by the developers and this is what they did upload over on Twitter AKX and this is what they had to say in the post. Planned updates for Dragon's Dogma 2, updates for all platforms, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, Steam. Then if we take a look at the first bulletin point here, it says adding the option to start a new game when save data already exists. Changing the number of Art of Metamorphosis items available at Pawn Guilds in the game to 99. Making the quest that allows players to acquire their own dwelling, where they can save and rest, available earlier in the game. Miscellaneous text display fixes and miscellaneous bug fixes. There are two things that I would like to point out specifically, and I'm sure some of you can already guess what it's going to be. If we take a look at the first one here, they specifically mention start a new game when save data already exists. This means, of course, when your save data is just not going too well and you want to replace it, you can absolutely do that. Which, by the way, some of you out here were trying to replace your saves on your PC and it was actually causing some huge problems with the anti-cheat. Essentially, some of you could not even play the game, which is pretty crazy. And we'll get into that information much later on in the video. The second bulletin point here is well worth talking about as well because they have now changed the number of art metamorphosis items at the pawn guild to 99. And of course there are some of these other changes in terms of miscellaneous text display fixes and some of those other bugs which is absolutely great. And by the way speaking of those bugs we are going to be talking about some game breaking bugs so hopefully in this next patch that will resolve those issues issues that we're about to discuss. But anyways, let's continue on and see what else the developers had to say. The devs continue on by specifically mentioning PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. Right here in the middle it says, updates for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. Adding the option to switch motion blur on off in options. Adding the option to switch ray tracing on off in options. Adding the option to set frame rate to either variable or max 30 FPS in options. Then down below, they did leave this much smaller text, which says these options will not affect the frame rate significantly. Frame rate improvements are planned for future updates. Okay, let's begin by talking about the bottom there first, because I feel like that's the most important thing to talk about here. So when it comes to this upcoming update, there is not going to be really any improvements towards your frame rates. That's the unfortunate part. But there is some positives because as they did mention here, it is planned for future updates. Now, some of you can argue that this right here should have already been in the game. A good portion of these things that will be coming to us, especially performance and you're not wrong to think that way absolutely not wrong but here's the thing that's quite interesting about just games in general in this current generation is that really they're all just messed up in some ways either in performance bugs or whatever the case may be for example a few that come to mind would be starfield last of us i'm sure there are some other ones out there that are just not popping in i'm sure you guys could fill in the blanks those games when they are released or if they're ported over they're just not done correctly. It, it sucks, but that's just a common problem with PC. And it also appears that now Xbox is also receiving that terrible short end of the stick, I assume, uh, where you guys just cannot really play the game. I mean, you can, it's just not the best performance. Some would even also argue that 60 FPS, you don't need it. So I don't know. With that being said, let me know your exact thoughts down below. Do you think these things should have already been added into the game or is it just okay that the developers do this anyways? Is it perfectly fine with you? 30 FPS, does it matter? Let me know down below your exact thoughts. And last but not least, the developers left this down below specifically for Steam. It says, Updates for Steam, improving quality when DLSS super resolution is enabled, fixing an issue where models appeared low quality under some specific settings. 
And to be completely real with you on the last one, I haven't experienced that at all, or at least I haven't paid attention. Maybe that has to do with DLSS or some of the other, you know, different ones that you can use to upscale. But yeah, I personally haven't experienced that one bit. Yet again, maybe I have, I just haven't paid attention to it. They also brought up something else in this, and that's the first one. I guess I should have started off with that one. But what you can tell right there, they are going to improve the DLSS super resolution when it is enabled, which again, this is something else you would assume they had already, you know, figured out, optimized, whatever word you wanna use. It just sucks again to see these things, but personally, in my opinion, I think developers do have it pretty rough on certain ends with like crunch time and all that. And with that being said, I appreciate the developers regardless. It's good to see that they are still going to continue with these updates and uh, we'll see how things go as things do progress forward. I will let you guys know in the next few videos if the game does improve quite a lot. I know some of you do want to know that information and I will let you know. So make sure that you are subscribed. You have those notifications turned on and yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's move on and talk about this right here, which is some new game breaking bugs that just popped up. What you're going to see right here is a post that was made by this user named Prosthetics. This is what the user had to say. DD2 game breaking bug question mark. If anyone has a solution, please help. Oh, got arrested and paid the bribe, but every NPC and guard still just attacks me. I die, load, attacked. There's no escape from it. Anyone know why and how to fix? I'm about 10 hours in. I don't want to delete my game and start again. Thanks. This right here is a current problem in Dragon's Dogma 2 to where players cannot really progress anywhere because they're just being eliminated instantly. He's not the only one because there is another user down below that had this to say. This user right here named Kid the Dead had this to say in response. Getting the same exact problem here, trying to look for solutions, but only get the Bride the Guard solution. Strange fact, when I tried it the first time, I was able to walk a bit and even talk to an quest NPC. But during the dialogue, a random guard passing by, get mad and attack me slant face. So as you can tell right there, he's not the only one that is experiencing these problems. And if you are, let me know down below or if you are experiencing something completely different that's abnormal. And last but not least, we are going to be talking about Dragon's Plague. I know just about everyone is discussing this, but there is some new information about this currently affecting New Game Plus. If you take a look at this user right here named Vaddy, this is what this user had to say. Dragon's Plague ruined my New Game Plus run. One of the pawns I had in my party just nuked the entire Vernworth. There was no tells he had the plague. No dialogue, no visuals, or audio cues. I go to rest in the end. Suddenly he explodes, killing everyone and everything. Then the game decides to blame me without giving me any indication one of my pawns was infected. Now I am left in a ghost town, unsure how to move forward. All the main quest NPCs are dead and I have no wake stones despite the game just coming out. Has anyone managed to beat the game without doing any of the main quests? Now to answer that, I am 100% sure you cannot progress forward and complete the game without doing some of the other quests. So yeah, you're absolutely screwed if this does happen to you on your new game plus run because yeah, there's really nothing you can do in the end except just kind of accept defeat. And last but not least, we have to talk about this because if you guys do not know about this and you're on console, there is an anti-cheat for Dragon's Dogma 2 that is just completely crap. And I mean, a lot of people do dislike it. It's not just my take on it. Yet anyways, what's going on as of right now is that when players do decide to load up their game, save, and then go to the files and try to replace those saves, it actually can temporarily lock them out of the game due to the anti-cheat. The first person to report on this is Aiden right here, and this is what he had to say at the top. He is saying, don't delete your Dragon Dogma 2 save files. Then if we head all the way down to the post here, we can see this right here that says, quote, it will block your Steam account from playing the game for 24 hours if it detects what it believes is foul play, end quote. And that's all due to just throwing in new saves. It's ridiculous. But that is also happening as of right now. So if you were thinking about messing with your saves, just don't do it. Unless you want to be locked out for 24 hours.
Now, honestly, in my opinions on Dragon Dogma 2 still is, I think it's a fun game. I'm not going to diss it one bit. The whole point in this video is to inform you what's going on. I may talk about some really awesome updates, and I may update you guys on some game-breaking bugs that are just completely ruining the game. And if I do that, that's not my take on it, as if I'm hating the game. I just do it so that you guys know what's going on, so that you're aware. Does the game have issues? Does it have performance issues and all this stuff? Absolutely yes, but is it going to be improved? Sure, it seems like it's going to be improved. I personally cannot, you know, speak for the developers, but if they work hard enough and they do a great job, they can absolutely fix the game up. I mean, Starfield's doing it right now with their game. You know, they released it in a pretty buggy, broken state, and now they're slowly updating the game and doing certain things. It sucks that this is the current generation, right? This is the way things are with games, but it is what it is. But I want to know what your guys' opinions are on everything in today's video. Let me know down below. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video.